Hello everyone! <laughs> ah, welcome to another video. Basically I've got to talk a bit quiet because my family are in the room next door. A few months ago I filmed a video where I wrecked my family with a hand that was made out of water. Okay, I don't know about you but I cannot stand whispering. It's the most annoying thing. I Just watching it is painful to me. So instead I'm going to tell you what's going on right now. Essentially I am making the tomato egg that you guys have sent me on Instagram all the time. I'm always getting sent it and I'm pranking my family with it. I mean it's the most of a prank you're going to get from me because I am a worst pranker ever. It's not really a prank is it? It's just me seeing if my family noticed that. Is it tomato or is it an egg? Now the difference with the ham compared to this egg is that the egg actually had a lot of positive feedback in terms of it tasting the same as a real egg. So we'll see if my family noticed or not. Let's continue with the video. I'm very intrigued with how this is gonna go. It's actually got some bits and bobs in it that look very scary and intimidating. Here we have some sodium alginate, which is basically, I think it's like a gelling. It's an extract of seaweed used by molecular chefs. I am going to feel a little bit like Heston Blumenthal. And speaking of Heston Blumenthal, why is this program these days? I haven't seen a Heston Blumenthal program in years. And do you remember the one where he made his own chai and chocolate factory? And there was that lookable wallpaper. Now that, I would do anything to go to one of those. That is so fun. So the thing you have to produce first is the gelling agent. Now, the gelling agent is basically what you coat the little egg yolks in. We're gonna make that now, because basically you have to make this and let it rest to let all the bubbles kind of sieve out of the solution, if you will. So we have to put 700 mils of water. For me, one of the main reasons why I would struggle going vegan is because of eggs. There is just nothing like a dippy egg in soldiers. Right, and to that we add five teaspoons of the sodium alginate. Five. I can't believe this has come from seaweed. That is honestly wild. One, two, three, four, five. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh my gosh, it looks like that water. There was this thick water going around. I would love to try it, but I haven't seen it anywhere in England. So we're gonna pour it into our tub. Should I try it? It tastes a bit like baking soda in water. Is he gonna notice? We don't know. I'm into the fridge. This is currently what it looks like. It looks a bit like lemonade, but let me assure you, it does not taste like lemonade. Now we are about to make the yolk. This ain't no yolk. We're taking this very seriously here, and we're gonna get stuck in. First things first, we're gonna put an apron on because we wanna feel official. A gastronomic people and so he used four big tomatoes but they didn't have them in the supermarket so instead i bought these which yellow and orange are the most important thing basically because obviously you want that color i'm going to look up the weight of one tomato that's about this big and hopefully get the same amount of tomatoes out of this i am intrigued because i've never in my life tried a yellow tomato i've always seen them should we try it together too good. That's good. Not as punchy as I thought it was going to be, but weight of a tomato. Who knew there were such different varieties of tomatoes? I've just seen a yellow pear tomato. Now I want to try it. Do you think there's a niche in England for different types of tomatoes? Because I'm happy to be that supplier. I don't believe that for a minute that it weighs 182 grams. I'm just going to do it by, by sight, guys. There you go. That's one tomato. 182 grams for a tomato. That's got to be a joke. Pour olive oil over the tomatoes and roast for 30 minutes. I don't know why, but tomatoes roasted in the oven really does make me feel like I am a mother of like three children and I buy organic food in Waitrose. A lovely cottage somewhere, you know, sunset. Sunset, sun, sun, sun. You drive through it to go to Cornwall. Sun, what the heck is that place called? Sun. Somerset! I'm just gonna massage the olive oil in. Give it a little pamper sesh. It's gonna feel loved, you know? I'm gonna let it shine. Whilst that's in the oven, I'm actually gonna weigh out all the bits that we're about to blend into the tomato concoction three tablespoons of olive oil then we need to add one teaspoon of mustard powder right this is the, apparently the crux of how it gets this eggy taste two teaspoons of this this is called black salt 
I actually don't know the history of black salt, so I'd be intrigued to know. Hello, welcome to this section of the vlog. This is Grax Facts, a section where I tell you a little bit about something that I've been learning about. I've been learning about black salt, which is also called Kala Namak, which I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it is basically a kiln-fired rock salt, and it has sulfurous, pungent smell, and is traditionally used in South Asian cuisine. I'd actually like to try it being cooked properly. Obviously, I've not had the best experience with it with this vegan egg. I want to try it in proper cooking, so leave me a recipe so I can use the black salt because I don't want it to go to waste. I feel like it's gonna stink. Oh my days. Oh actually, it's weird. It smells like curry, but then you get hit by the egg. It literally smells like egg. That is wild. And then you add one tablespoon of calcium lactate. All these things I feel like, should they be going in my mouth? They sound like chemical experiments, which I kind of suppose this is. We have our tomatoes, they're lovely. And blistered and then we pop them into the blender go little guys i have a feeling you know when you've blended something hot it pops so i don't want to top tomato on me i mean this is a jar opener so i'm not sure if it's gonna work oh it's not big enough and then we add our mustard seed nutritional yeast black salt is we add the calcium put your mind to it oh my gosh it smells like okay. egg it smells like okay. egg okay we're gonna add our calcium it smells like egg just make sure it's all in there Right, now we pass it through a sieve and we let it chill. So this is what it currently looks like. It definitely has egg yolk color, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge to cool. So my sister just came into the kitchen. What does it smell like in the kitchen? What? It's not good. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna resolve this. I feel like I'm never gonna be able to live it down. Got it chilling in the fridge right here mm -hmm. just set up our station ready for dipping is the yolk is the alginate solution here is cold water we need our slot spoon now unfortunately i don't have a coffee scoop spoon so first thing i'm going to try it with is this which is like a rounded and basically what you do is you plop it in here for a minute and then apparently it gives it the right texture or do i do it with a spoon i really don't know how to do it you just want to roll it and then you leave it for a minute do you know how i get it out though this is the little eggy guy. It looks weird. Oh, I don't like the look of it. I'm going to do one at a time because I don't want to stress myself out. Okay, we've got 15 seconds and then I'm going to take it out. Okay, and then put it in the, in, in the cold water. Just like that. I think. So we're going to try another one. I think I need to work on my shaping. I wonder how it would happen if I piped it in. Push it down, make sure it's fully covered. I'm going to try another one with the piping tag. I feel like actually the piping bag one's worked quite well. In a minute, I'm gonna take this guy out. I think he's nearly ready. So weird, it looks like, uh, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of a whale's tongue. What? Whoa, dude, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. Look at this. My little, my little yolks. This ain't no yolk, I tell ya. I can't believe it. I wonder what else you could do this with. I mean, it's a lot of hassle for an egg yolk, but I'm probably my best one. I started to get the hang of it towards the end, to be honest with you. And we're gonna try it. <laughs> I don't want to try it. What the heck? Chloe, you're not gonna believe this. I've made a vegan egg yolk. Look at that. I'm gonna pop it. What? Is it gonna pop? That's why I'm really hoping it pops. What's on the outside of that? <laughs> oh, ooh. It kind of did pop. Now it Can looks you like see this? Yeah, it does look a bit. Okay, I'm gonna try it. What's what is it? What is it? Is Tomato. it gross? Tomato. Would it smell? Like, does it smell funny? Like it's an egg? Yeah. I think I need some toast with it. It's only tomatoes. No, there's some other things in there. I'm so nervous. No, it feels wrong because it's like a science experiment. It's weird because it does have that outer shell bit, like bounces. Okay, I'm really nervous. It's just tomato. It's gross. <laughs> it's just like egg, but it's just weird. It's so eggy. It's just... I can't do it. I don't like that at all. I'm a... 
them. Okay, so you can kind of see here, this is like the poppy bit, and then in the middle it pops. It, look at that, it's so weird. But it is disgusting. It tastes just like salty egg, which I know normally like I wouldn't be disgusted by, but it's just so eggy, a different kind of, it tastes like egg, it's so weird. So we're gonna set up the tasting station for my dad. I keep saying that it tastes like egg, which I know was kind of the aim, but it tastes a bit like, you know, sewery, eggy, farty smell. That's what it tastes like. It's not a real egg. It tastes like sewery egg. And I've not told him, he has no idea. I, he hasn't even seen any of the solution or anything like that. Hey, you can come in. I need you to try something. I want you to try this egg I made. It's not an egg. That is an egg. It's not a proper egg. It's a proper egg. It's not a proper egg. <laughs> See? What? It doesn't run right. It, it, it popped though, didn't it? Yeah, it's not a proper egg. Mm. Mustardy, isn't it? It tastes like egg, doesn't it? Sort of taste is mustard in other taste than what it is. As an egg for me, the over vinegar. No, but is it a good replica of an egg? Mm. It's all right. It doesn't <laughs> taste like egg. It you don't like, think it does? No, it tastes like something else. But I can't put my finger on. Got a sort of metallic -y. What about the texture? Yeah, it's not bad. L like the little covering. That's quite. Yeah. Good. See if Banksy will eat it because she loves it. No, she ain't having Banksy's that. Banksy's not eating that. Tomatoes mm. and black salt. Oh. Right, we Mum, do you want to yeah, try it? No, I do not want to Look, try Look, you put it. This one's really good though. This one actually really looks like an egg. Thanks, did you want some? <laughs> is this better or is the melon better? The melon ham? That's slightly got an edge, maybe. The colour of it is more orange. Okay, actually, it's so yeah, egg yolk. Last time I did this, everyone got so offended in the um, comments that I didn't make you a real ham, but you had the disappointment. Do you remember you were so disappointed? Yeah, I was really disappointed. Were you as disappointed this time? No, I knew you'd set me Oh, not being funny. Look at that. That looks like an egg yolk right there. Yeah, but you don't eat egg yolks like that. You eat egg yolks with a white. You can eat them, and I have eaten them at what they call a poor man's oyster, where you just down it in one. That's vile. Yeah. It's a very strange experience. Wow. But other than that, where would you eat just a yolk with no white? A white that I knew it wasn't. So question. So if they had white round it, different matter. Would you rather have a poor man's oyster or this guy? Poor man's oyster. No. Are you kidding me? No. Do it. Dad reckons I should put frothy milk around it and then it would look like an egg. See, that white against it. <laughs> then it's not vegan. You could do it with um, soya milk. Yeah, but that would taste absolutely vile. Just think about getting the white, that's all. All right, Heston, get it. Uh, you can't tell me that that doesn't look like an egg. Okay, because it hasn't got the white. Go back to it when you've got the white. Ooh, shut oh, is that a challenge, Dad? Yeah. It's a challenge, is it? Yeah. Egg white coming up. So I think I need to test this on Jesse and see what he thinks because he was the most dramatic with the watermelon ham last time. So let me know if you want to see that. Peace out. Love you all loads.